Alright guys, so uh, this video is about adjective phrases and uh, I'll go over the first ten of the worksheet here. Uh, so what you have to do here is first find a prepositional phrase and um, then circle the word that it modifies. And these will all be adjective phrases which means that they will describe a noun or a pronoun. And adjective phrases, they, uh, they're going to follow the nouns that they describe in most cases. So here we go. Um, I remember grandmother when I smell freshly baked bread with butter. With is a preposition, and with butter is the prepositional phrase. The prepositional phrase has two parts. The preposition, and then the noun or pronoun here, called the object of the preposition. And both of these words, in this case, it's only two words, they operate as one adjective that tells us what kind of bread. Number two, the aroma of my grandmother's baking was often strong. So of my grandmother's baking, of is a preposition, and uh, baking is the object of the preposition, and my and grandmother's tells us about the baking. But all together, all of these words make up one prepositional phrase. And they all describe either which one or what kind of aroma. They go back to aroma. Number three, when I was young, grandmother uh, let me help make soft rolls with butter. With is a preposition and butter is the object of that preposition and both of these tell us what kind or which one, uh, which roles we're talking about. You're probably seeing a pattern here. We have noun and then prepositional phrase described by it, and that's all. That's pretty much how it how it goes. Uh, she also made breads such as wheat rolls and can cranberry um, muffins. So uh, here we have a compound preposition such as, and then the uh, prepositional, uh, the object wheat rolls, and then also cranberry muffins. Those are both objects of that preposition. And both of these tell us about the breads. Let me go back to breads. Number five. Uh, grandfather would say that his favorite of all the rolls was the batch I had helped to make. So here we have underlined a uh, prepositional phrase that describes which favorite that we're talking about. Now at the end of this sentence, um, it says to make. And um, to is often a preposition, but to will not be a preposition if the word following it is a verb. This is called an infinitive, and we're going to look at that um, later in the week. But uh, to verb is not a prepositional phrase. All right, number six. I remember the tickle of flour and baking powder when I breathed it in. So of flour and baking powder, of is a preposition, here are our objects, and these go to the word tickle to tell us about that tickle. What kind of tickle? The tickle of flour and baking powder. Uh, over here we have in, which can be a preposition, but since in doesn't have a noun after it, there's no object to it, uh, this is an adverb instead. Seven. My grandmother would say that I was the best baker of the bunch. Uh, of the bunch, uh, of is a preposition, here's our object of that preposition, and these both describe the word baker. Eight. Now, years later, the smell of rising bread describes the smell, brings back these memories. Of is our preposition, rising bread is our object. Number nine. I can almost see grandmother wearing her dress with the roses. With is a preposition, the roses is our object. They describe the dress. And ten, whenever I get the chance, I bake one of grandmother's specialties. Uh, of is a preposition, and grandmother's specialties is our object, and they both describe one. So the pattern that you're seeing here with uh, the adjective phrase is that we have a preposition, and then we have an object of that preposition. Go ahead and... Uh, uh, finish the, uh, the bottom half of the exercise, and I'll ask for some people to share their responses. Um, I'm going to wait uh, about five seconds here, and then we're going to look at the adverb phrase.
Okay, so here is the adverb phrase. Now the adverb phrase is very similar to the adjective phrase in that it, it has a preposition and then an object forming one phrase. The difference though between the adverb phrase and the adjective phrase is that the adverb phrase will not tell us which one or what kind of a person, place, or thing. The adverb phrase will tell us when, where, why, how, or to what extent something is done or a description is accurate. So like after school. After school here um, is probably going to tell us when something happens. So these time prepositions are often uh, used for that. And then to the neighboring park here, this is telling us probably a where here. And they're all going to describe either verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. So here we have after school I rode my bicycle to the neighborhood park. When did I ride my bicycle? After school. And where did I ride my basket? Ball. Uh, when did I ride my bicycle uh, to the neighborhood park? So uh, they clearly answer those adverbial questions. Let's do the uh, some of the sample ones down below. Um, number one, some work uh, at fast food restaurants while others work outdoors. So at is a preposition and at fast food restaurants is a prepositional phrase. It includes the preposition and its object. And these describe the word work, which is a verb. And this tells us where they work. So it answers an adverbial question. Number two, one important skill students learn at part-time jobs. At is a preposition and part-time jobs is the object. And they describe the verb were, uh, sorry, learn. Um, and it tells us where they learn. Number three, students can earn extra cash and experience at part-time jobs. Now, at part-time jobs doesn't describe experience. If it did, it would, be, it would be an adjective phrase. This describes the word can earn, which is a verb. And at part-time jobs tells us where they can earn. Number four, uh, those who contribute to a savings account regularly can watch their money grow quickly. Uh, two is a preposition, and a savings account is the object of that preposition. This makes our prepositional phrase, and they describe, the, the, this prepositional phrase describes the word contribute that tells us, um, I don't know, uh, where they contribute. Five, throughout the nation, many teams have career-related part-time jobs. So this one we have an adverb phrase here at the beginning of the sentence. Throughout is a preposition, and then the nation is the object of that preposition. Um, adjective phrases actually can't start sentences, which is kind of an interesting thing. If you see a prepositional phrase at the beginning of a sentence, it's always going to be an adverb phrase. This tells us either where or to what extent um, teens have. Number six, students may find career-related jobs in a vocational catalog. So in a vocational catalog, this is our preposition, here's our object of that preposition, and this tells us where they can find. Where can they find career-related jobs? In a vocational catalog, so it tells us where. Seven, students can check with their guidance counselor who will help them investigate possibilities. With is a preposition, here is our object of that preposition, and it all describes can check, which is a verb. Where can they check, or, you know. All right, or how can they check? Um, eight, a student who wants to study veterinary medicine could work for a local veteran, veterinarian, um, and this describes could work, and it tells us where they could work, or how they could work. And nine, students who hope to practice law someday could volunteer. Where can they volunteer? Here's our prepositional phrase. At the Attorney General's office. Preposition, object of that preposition. And this describes could volunteer. And then 10. Any part job, part time job can be helpful. How can it be helpful for the future? Or to what extent can it be helpful for the future? So this describes helpful. So a um, couple of odd things about adverbs, um, they can kind of go wherever they want. Sometimes they can be very far from the verb they describe. They can also start sentences, um, which makes them different from adjective phrases. Also, they answer these adverbial questions. They're down here. 
when, how, how far, where, to what extent, uh, also why. So uh, go ahead and uh, do this bottom part where you write your own sentences, and, uh, and I'll uh, ask some people to, uh, to share them with us in a moment. Uh, good luck.